Hello, we are starting Marie's bedroom today and I am so excited to start this room because the direction of it, I'm just, it's been one I've been wanting to do. The color palette and just the pieces in here, very excited. Justin and I are currently going to the paint store to get some paint because we are gonna be plastering Marie's entire room in this plaster right here from Meoded. If you remember in my kitchen, I actually plastered all of the walls, the ceiling and the range hood with a Meoded product. And I ended up doing, it's funny cause they named the product Drew's White, <laughs> which is actually color you can get there. And this one is the Marmarino Palladino, which is a natural lime and marble dust based plaster suitable for interior and exterior. Um, and it has a satin finish to it. It's so pretty. And this is the exact color I'm going with for the walls in there. And that's all I'm gonna share. So we're going to the paint store because we wanna actually color match this and get some actual paint that can go on the window trim and the baseboards because we're not gonna be plastering those so that they just coordinate. So yeah, heading there, going to Crown Paint, grabbing two of these primers for the window trim. So this is a look at Marie's bedroom and a lot of people were asking me why she selected this room as opposed to the other one with the bathroom and that's just because this one is larger and she is using the other one as her bathroom because we're the only two people living in the house. So I put together a small mood board for Marie's bedroom just to get the color tones and the direction in alignment. And I love these photos together. I knew I wanted to embrace the red tone lighting that comes through the window because my house is neighboring a bright red home and through the window is some red toned lighting. So I knew if I picked the proper neutral colors, it really could be like kind of a play on that lighting as a feature as opposed to what could be kind of taken as a negative because I could always cover that up with curtains if I want to, which I will be adding, but I want the design overall to really, really embrace the full element of the room. So I love this center photo here. I think the bed is so cool. I love the color on the wall as well. I feel like if you had red tone lighting in a room like this, it would just look pretty, you know? And my initial thought was to actually combat the red. So make the room green, you know, do a green design in the space and then the red would kind of neutralize out. But I started adding green tones to this room over the course of the week leading up to this makeover and they just didn't feel right. The colors almost felt gray and kind of muddy and I knew I wanted just warmth in this space and kind of a play on wood tones. I'm really going for wood tones and an old world feel while still incorporating modern elements. Hi! Now that we're covering the windows, I have on my respirator. Using a thin, thin primer. Just going to spray on the window and then hand are primed and we are going to start in with the paint because with the paint I want to go ahead and just get all of the trim first we want to paint all the trim and the baseboards all the windows as well and then go in with the plaster over top because I think it would just be so much easier to do plaster over top of that and then just touch up with any paint if needed as opposed to plastering and then having to go back and like really make sure that we paint perfectly along that line including the trim on the ceiling which as you guys can see here the ceilings in all of these rooms which is one of the reasons i bought this home is all of them are coved so every single ceiling actually arches up throughout the entire house and so with that there's this little border we're going to be painting that because we can't plaster the border this is a color that we have color matched to our plaster and it looks perfect. And we are going to be painting this along all the baseboards. Mm -hmm. 
So whenever you are plastering, I always suggest to purchase a paint color and a matching tone to your plaster and do all of your trim work first because at least do one coat on your trim work because it's always easiest to add the first coat and then just be a little bit messy with it. As you can see, I went a little bit above the edges of all the trim, not too much because I definitely want that primer to be the kind of gritty base for our plaster. So I don't want to go too much over the top of it, but I painted all the trim with two coats of a paint that matched the plaster first. That just makes it so much easier when you go in with the plaster, you can go right up to the edge. And as you can see here, the paint actually goes on pretty bright and then it dries down quite a bit darker. $275. So I just wanted to be fully transparent with you guys and let you know how much this process actually costs. So we're going to see how much of the room we can do with the bucket. If you could put in the work yourself and just get the product from the Oded, it really is so good. And I opted for this colorway and we are going to start plastering this. So I'm excited to open the can. It's also so echoey in here at the moment. Start getting this in the walls. It is applied with a trowel, very similar to what we did in the kitchen. Um, but I think this product is actually quite a bit smoother. The one in the kitchen had like actual texture to it. It kind of was more of a stone, like a faux stone finish. This one's a bit smoother. It has kind of like a satin finish to it. So this is what the product actually looks like. And as you can see, it's kind of like a frosting like material. It's pretty, I say it's not like a medium thickness. It's not super thick and it's not like runny. So this is what we are going to be plastering on the walls. And for the first coat, you just go through and do a pretty thin layer on everything. I'm thinking I want to start on this wall just because I don't want to mess up our main wall, which is where the bed's going to be. So if anything, I'll start here where the dresser is going to be covering. Here goes nothing. It's already falling. So I kind of take a bulk of it and just kind of put it on the wall. And then I kind of scrape it so I have it right on the edge there. I don't have a ton, but probably like, mm, that's good. You just go right up the edge and just scrape right up. It's just so satisfying how clean, like, clean of a line you could get.
So this right here is a time lapse spanning about four hours. This product does take quite a while to dry down, but as it dries down, you could start seeing some of the movement to it. And something I'll say is the first coat really is your base layer. The second coat is where all the movement happens. Hi guys, Justin here. Drew had to run to a meeting for a few hours, so you guys are stuck with me for a little bit. Um, I'll just keep plastering while he's away. Justin literally is covered in <laughs> meoted. Yesterday we got the first coat of plaster on this entire room and something I have to apologize for in this video is the audio. The neighbors are ripping out a tree outside and they've been ripping it out for like eight hours and it's just not ripping out. It's been happening for so long and I've just been wanting to come in here and share with you guys the color so I apologize for any background noise. So we have the wall color which is looking so good. Marie loves it, I love it. So there is a red bounce in this room, but I kind of wanted to embrace that in the design and make it more so like a lighting feature as opposed to trying to design and then having a red bounce on colors that I didn't want that to happen on. So the base for the room, I really wanted to also be warm so that all of the woods kind of complemented each other because I have a dark wood floor underneath the red and a headboard, which is from Lulu and Georgia. This is for Marie's bedroom. I am just so, so, so excited about some of the pieces that Lulu and Georgia sent over for this space. I want to thank them so much. They heard that I was moving and reached out. They're like, would you like any pieces for your home? And I thought it would be perfect for Marie's room because as much as Marie loves antiques and vintage, I do know that she prefers items on the newer side. I have gotten her into antique and vintage, but I do know like for a bed, for example, she would love a new one. So I thought this would be really beautiful in here. It is such a stunning bed. I'll pop up the actual name. Really warm wood on the outside, and then it has this beigey linen. And on camera, it's kind of showing up blue for some reason. One of the reasons I opted for the art shape was because it kind of mimics this top corner here. This one over here, I just love that. I thought it kind of fit in the wall quite nicely. But not only do we have the headboard here, there's also a footboard that goes at the end. So it's an entire bed and some nightstands. And these nightstands I've been wanting to pop over here. I just brought one in, it's right here. They are a different tone of wood, which I love. I love mixing wood colors as long as they're on like the same hue. So I wouldn't want to mix like a gray tone into here. This is the nightstand here. And there's just so much plaster on the ground. So I'm just trying to get an idea of how those look paired together. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think that is so beautiful. I love those tones together. I also like this nightstand because the drawer is a soft close. It's just like really nice quality. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for my curtain swatches forever. A solid like two weeks. Wow. There's actually another nightstand in the box. Let me go grab it. Here it is. great packaging too. I will say that if you order pieces from them, they all arrive in such great condition. And then this will be going over here. Now, I don't know why on the camera there's such like a bluey, oh it's because of the blue tape on the windows. Oh, I could take that off. Let me do that. All right, I took blue tape off of majority of the windows. There's just one more that I think kind of is casting that little shadow there. But look how stunning all of these colors are starting to look together. I had a potential idea of doing some form of sconce that was actually plastered into the wall, which is still an idea. But I do have a big question for you guys, and I'm going to just be behind the camera for a second because.
because of the audio. The big question I want to ask is about the ceiling because there is something really pretty about having a light ceiling and it wouldn't be stark white like this. Like I would definitely paint it more along the lines of this kind of ivory color, uh, probably a little warmer because there is something really pretty about kind of having this lightness here and then having a lightness up here. It would not be stark white like this. I definitely would go more of a creamier tone, something just with a little bit of creaminess so it wasn't harsh and stark, but I could leave the ceiling light like this if I wanted to, or I could go dark with it. I guess I kind of am leaning a bit towards plastering the entire room because I just love the way all the walls and the ceiling look when they're all the same color. So I think it would be really nice. And then this kind of uh, tone would read on the ceiling. And I also got to mention, I don't know if I did, this is only one coat. I have to wait until they open up on Monday to get the second coat. And that's really going to add a bit more texture to the walls and fill in some of these scratch lines as well. But I'm just not sure what I want to do the ceiling yet. Of course, we're going to have a light right here, but there is something pretty about leaving it light or like maybe, and then once we get the red off the ground, I'm sure that's bouncing even even more of kind of a red hue on the wall making it feel even orangier but we're gonna have this really great dark wood in here which is gonna look so beautiful with the other wood tones I'm so excited but what should we do to the ceiling please let me know in the comments there is something nice about this I don't know let me know